In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to add cut contours for cutting out stickers to your design. Whether you are producing stickers or ordering stickers online, you will need to add a cut contour. So let's have a look on how to do that. To get the exact layout as I'm using, go to Window and select the Essentials Classic. The toolbar is set to Advanced. First step we're going to take is create a spot color for the contours. A spot color is the standard to use for most cutters and software, so it will recognize the contour that needs to be cut out. So we're going to create a new color swatch over here in the swatch panel. Click on this icon and open up new swatch. The swatch name needs to be set to cut contour with two capital C's. This is an important step because a lot of the software will look at the name of the spot color to see the purpose of it. The color type needs to be set to spot color. The color needs to be set to the color needs to be set to 100% magenta if you are on CMYK color mode, or use this RGB color mix when you have a document that contains RGB colors. In this case, we're on a CMYK color mode, so we're going to select CMYK and 100% magenta. Now click on OK and you will see that the new color is added to the swatch panel with this little triangle in it, which indicates that it is a spot color. OK, now let's move on to adding this spot color as a contour to our design. Let's start with the more simple designs like the shapes in the first two artboards. Select the shape and make a copy of it. Now move over to the color settings in the toolbar and drag the fill color to the stroke color. Move over to the top bar to give the stroke some weight to create a bleed of the color. This is used to create a safety margin for the color when printing and cutting afterwards. Now paste back the shape we copied earlier over the original shape by pressing Ctrl F. Swap the fill for a stroke by pressing this arrow icon. Now turn this pasted shape into the cut contour by giving it the spot color we created earlier as a stroke. Let's zoom in to see up close what the result is. So you see a nice little bleed as safety margin for the color and the magenta color as cut contour added to our design. The steps will be the same when you have multiple shapes on your artboard. Select them all and make a copy of the shapes. Now give the shapes a stroke in the same color as a safety margin. Now paste back the shapes we've copied by using Ctrl F and give the pasted shapes the magenta spot color as cut contour. So make sure to use a stroke instead of a fill. Now let's see the result. We have our safety margin and we have the cut contour as magenta color in the design. And now let's go a little bit more in depth on creating a cut contour on a shape that is not as easy as the first artboards, like this text logo in the third artboard. We are going to create an offset path and turn it into our cut contour. With the text selected, we're going to Object, Path and select Offset Path. Now what we want to do is create an offset of the path wide enough so that the contour is a nicely closed shape. This makes it easier to peel the sticker after cutting it. So increase the offset of the path until you get a nicely closed contour. Click on OK and the path will be expanded. Now keep the logo selected and move over to the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel. With this tool you can drag over the shape until it's fully filled. Release the click after the shape is fully filled which will create the shape. Now that it is a closed shape we can apply the cut contour to it. Select the created spot color for the cut contour as a stroke color and remove the fill color. So now we have our shape and a cut contour to turn the design into a sticker. As a bonus, I will show you how you can smooth the contour so it will be easier to peel after cutting the sticker. With the cut contour selected, you go to Object, Path and select Smooth. This will bring up a slider that lets you smoothen out the sharp edges of the cut contour. Now, thank you all for watching and please consider to subscribe if it helped you.